internal jugular vein the internal jugular vein is a direct continuation of the sigmoid sinus it begins in the jugular foramen and ends behind the sternal end of the clavicle by joining with the subclavian vein to form brachiocephalic vein the origin is marked by a dilation that is the superior bulb which lies in the jugular fossa of the temporal bone beneath the floor of the middle cavity and the termination of the vein is marked by the inferior bulb which lies beneath the lesser supraclavicular fossa so what are the relations the superficial relations are the sternocleidomastoid posterior belly of digastric superior belly of omohyoid parotid gland styloid process and the internal carotid artery and what are the posterior relations the posterior relations are transverse process of atlas cervical plexus scalenus anterior first part of the subclavian artery and what are the medial relations the medial relations are the internal carotid artery common carotid artery and the vagus nerve and what are the tributaries of the internal jugular vein the internal jugular vein receives venous return from the inferior petrosal sinus common facial vein lingual vein pharyngeal veins superior thyroid vein and the middle thyroid vein all these are the tributaries to the internal jugular vein one important point what we need to know over here is the thoracic duct opens into the angle of the union between the left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian vein the right lymphatic duct opens similarly on the right side in the middle of the neck the internal jugular vein may communicate with the external jugular vein through the oblique jugular vein which runs across the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and what is the clinical anatomy especially in conditions like congestive cardiac failure or any other disease where venous pressure is gradually increased the internal jugular vein is markedly dilated and engorged this is what we need to know about the internal jugular vein